medically trained, and I have no idea what a, you know what, what a gravely ill child is. And somebody might look perfectly well to me, you know, with a minor fever. Yeah. Um, you know, may actually be uh, you know a medical emergency, and and that's what that's what concerns me. And in fact, many times it's, it's anecdotal. I've had it from a number of people where they found the GP. I might like, you know I, I, my child's a bit unwell. They've got a fever. They've got a bit of a rash. Take it to A and E. The first thing they say. And I'm bringing it into the surgery. So if it happens at, at midnight, you know, you haven't got the ability to talk to the GP. You, 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 you go straight to where you think is most logical. And I think we need to be sending those people to the centres of excellence of paediatric medicine that we have in our area that serve, that serve our community well. I mean, they're there for a reason. We agree that people having strokes need to go to a stroke centre. People having coronaries need to go to the coronary centre at Hammersmith, which is excellent. Yeah. So people with children, surely, should go to the Children's Emergency Medicines Department at St Mary's and at uh, Chelsea and Westminster and not risk going to, you know, frankly, what may be a very nice setup, but an urgent care centre that is not designed for children's health. Okay, uh, Councillor. 